Hello internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to design a professional email signature for Outlook, both Windows app and web. It will include images, social icons and logos and it's totally free. The signature is fully customizable and you won't need any code as we will be using an easy email signature builder and there are plenty of designs to choose from. Arnie, how does that sound? Enough talk! Punch. Just head to the description of this video and click on the first link and you will end up on this page. You'll immediately see that you have some templates to choose from. So there's a lot of email signatures here and you can choose from. But if you notice, they are actually most of them pro. So you these are the premium ones. And if you want to just see the free ones, just click on this filter here on top and click on free. And here you have the options for free. Now, it looks like they're a bit limiting, but they are, this tool has a lot of customization options, so don't worry, you'll be able to change this. So let's say I like this one, I'm gonna choose this one, and now it's saying here, hey, I'm using some of the pro features, but let's just use the back to free, and that way we know that everything we use is free. And you'll see immediately they're using this create your own signature thingy, but honestly, I believe you can remove it later. So what can you do here? Well, you first start with the general here on the left and you have different tabs here. I think it always helps if you change the image first because then you can see yourself. So let's do that. I'm going to change and upload my own image. I have it here saved, a thumbnail. The size doesn't matter because you can also adjust it. So um, another thing here you can do is choose the radius. So you will curve a little bit these edges. As you can see, now it's a bit more curved. And if you want a circle, you can just choose like this. And then you can make a circle like this and then click on apply. So now you see circle here and you can uh, update the other details. If the image was too big, you could have uh, adjusted it from here. So you have the image width, so you can adjust it here as well. But I'm gonna keep it as 100. It looks okay like this. Then if I go back to general, this is where I would update all my details. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. Just update all of this and add your website, email and things that you want to have here. It's really up to you. So if you have a Skype ID, just type in the Skype ID and you'll see that it's updated here di directly. Same thing with other um, fields here. And for custom fields, that's a pro feature. Then let's go to social tab here. You can update the URL. So for example, right now it's using the Facebook, Twitter, and Telegram. And you can see that LinkedIn is only available for the premium license. You have also other social medias here. So you have Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of other ones. Some of them will be for pro only, and some are actually for free as well. For example, Snapchat is free, Instagram, and YouTube. So these are free. So all you have to do is add your pages here, and then it'll show up here. And you can uh, test it by clicking on this one and it will actually then go to the right place. So wherever you click, you'll see that you can update the feature immediately. But uh, back to this one. So yeah, you need to add your URL here to your social media. Then if we go to add-ons, add-ons in something you can add uh, things like the sign off, which is in this case, is this thing uh, here at the top. You can see when you remove it, it disappears. I actually don't need sign off. But for example, what if I want to have a video conference? Because nowadays you kind of need that. So you can just click on that and you have a few options here. And for example, I don't know if you have Zoom, you could add uh, meet me on Zoom and then add the Zoom link here. And you can adjust a bit the shape again, make it a bit more uh, the corners more rounded or just straight. Really up to you how big you make it. And here you can adjust how, how close it is to this whole thing. And then you can use the default colors or you can just adjust the colors yourself. And then the last tab is the design. So what, what if you wanna adjust some of these things? You don't wanna have blue icons here. That's all possible, no problemo. Uh, for example, you can adjust the font sizes, font family obviously. So whatever works for you the best, for example, area black or Verdana, it's it's really up to you what you prefer and what is your brand about. You can also change the font colors. And here are also other layouts. Some of them are with the pro features. You can see that it changes. And from here, you can 
choose even more layout so same text but slightly different layouts here are the free ones i believe the first first four are free and then you have the pro uh, license so i actually like the one I actually like this one the most so i'm going to select it you can see now it's updated and there's a few other pro features here's uh, what well, you can also adjust this you'll have use the social icons with their um, with their own colors or you can adjust the colors from here so for example what if i want all black you can change that and then obviously you can also reset template design but that's, that's not what i want because i just set this up and once you're ready with everything all you have to do is save signature and this way you can actually uh, come back to this and adjust it now you'll have to create an account but that's no problem just create an account and then you're able to come back to this adjust it and paste it to your website and once you've created an account and logged in if you go to the dashboard you'll see that you have the signatures here it took maybe uh, a minute for it to appear here but if, so if you don't see it immediately it'll appear here and now uh, you can save the signature and then just select all of this it turns blue and copy and then you can also do that from copy to clipboard that works as well let's head to the outlook windows app first i'll show you how to do this in the web app in a minute the easiest way to find the signature is by creating a new email and then you should have a signature here on top just click on the signatures like this here you need to create a new signature just give it a name and click ok then just paste the email signature in this field and let's scroll down and just delete this banner by selecting it and then pressing backspace on your keyboard and one more thing there are two drop downs here on top if you want your new email signature to appear when you create a new email just make sure it's selected here and same thing for email replies and forwards it's the adjustments are done here then click on ok when you're happy with everything and now you can see the signature if you click on the option here on top and now let's take a look at the same thing in outlook web app just click on the cogwheel here at the top and find view all outlook settings then navigate to the compose and reply tab and you can paste your email signature here again just delete the banner here at the bottom and set your preference for the signature and don't forget to save this let's close this pop-up and when you create a new email you will see the signature and to get higher email open rates check out the tips in the video that appears on your screen right now